wherever you are right now, I want you to begin to magnify the name of the Lord Most High God. Give him the thanks, give him the praise that is due to his holy name. The Lord our God is great. The Lord our God is good. His mercies endure forever. His mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. 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 The book of Psalms chapter 20. It says the psalm of David, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. Say amen, somebody. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Say amen. amen. Send thee, just be saying amen as I read this uh, verse of scripture. Verse 2, send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy bone sacrifice. Grant thee according to thine own petition and fulfill all thy counsel. Amen. We will rejoice in thy salvation and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Amen. Now know high that the Lord saveth his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots, Abayabada. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of our God. <laughs> we remember the name of the Lord our God. Verse 8. They are brought down. Come and say they are brought down. And fallen. But we are risen and stand upright. Hallelujah. Save, Lord. Let the king hear us when we call. Let me read you Hosea. The book of Hosea, chapter 6. This is a prophetic book right here. But I'm going to read um, verse. This was a prophecy about Jesus. Oh, come and let us return unto the Lord. Verse 1. For he has turned and he will heal us. He has smitten Kalaba Totobo and he will bind us up. <laughs> Verse 2. Woo. After two days, Kabata Bakataya. After two days, will he revive us? After two days, he will revive us. In the third day, he will raise us up. And we shall what? Live in his sight. And that's what we are doing in Christ today. This is the third day. I want to declare, Father, blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name for this third day. As we round off on our fast, 21 days fast. Oh, Father, we give you praise. Praise is comely to the upright. Praise is comely to the upright. The Bible declares... Praise is comely to the upright. Praise is comely to the upright. Praise is comely to the upright. I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. And we went into the house of the Lord in company. This poor man cried. This poor man cried. This indigent man cried. This man that was poor. This poor man cried. And the Lord hired him. And delivered him out of all his fears. This poor man cried. Then the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his fears. Lakabo Satana. We worship you, Father, because praise is comely and becoming of the righteous. We bless your name. We magnify your name. King of all the earth, King of heaven and earth. We bless your name. Heaven is your throne, and the earth is your footstool. 
you don't live in heaven but you live in the light that no man can approach unto you live in unapproachable light that no man can approach. Yes, you are light. You are the light of life. You are the light in my heart. You are the light of my life. You are my you are my beauty. You are my radiance. You are my radiance. La canoto bola pata. Christ Jesus, my sanctification. Christ Jesus, our sanctification, our redemption, our our righteousness, and our wisdom. All in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus, the power of God. Christ Jesus, the wisdom of God. Thank you, Father, for being my wisdom. Thank you, Father, for being my sanctification. Thank you, Father, for being my righteousness. Thank you, Father, for being my wisdom. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for being my wisdom. Ah, Lord, I bless your name. Lord, I Praise your name. The Bible declares, in him I live, in him I move, in him I have my being, in him I live, in him I move, in him I have my being. Without you we are nothing. The Bible declares, you are the same yesterday, you are the same today, you are the same forever. You are the same tomorrow and you are the same forever and that's why the sons of Jacob, they are not consumed. We are not consumed because of who you are. 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 <laughs> All over be your name. 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 Ya barakura da basi te te te. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, O Lord? You are righteous. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. You are righteous. 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 Yele baba ro ba re ba bo ba be ba le be 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 le be 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 le be 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 le be 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 le kura ba ye ba bo 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 li ya ba do ba re ba ro ba re ba ro ba re ba ro ba re Paul says he said I do not know what I'm going to do but I will pray in the spirit with my spirit that's within me I will pray with my understanding oh I will sing in the spirit I will sing in my understanding also we sing in the spirit we sing in the spirit male pale pale da do rabo do rabo do raba babo babe babo babo babe babo babe raba babo babe babo babe babo babe babo babe babo raba babo babe babo babe babe babo babe Rabba ba ba bo ba be ba be ba bo ba be ba bo ba be ba bo ba be. Rabba ba ba bo ba be ba bo ba bo ba be ba bo ba bo ba be ba bo. Rabba ba ba bo ba be ba bo ba be ba bo ba be ba bo ba bo. Rabba ba ba bo ba be ba bo ba bo ba bo ba bo ba bo. Rabba ba ba bo ba be ba bo ba bo ba bo ba bo. Ima mo 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 mo. Rabba ba bo bo. Rabba ba ba bo. Worthy Lord, worthy Lord, worthy Lord, worthy are you Lord. Ya ba ba bo ba be ba bo ba be ba bo ba be. Ra ba 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 bo ba be ba bo ba be ba bo ba be ba bo ba be. Ra ba 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 bo ba be ba bo ba be ba bo ba be ba bo ba be. 
Kade ya balado, kabe ya balabado, kabe ya balabado, ya bele bele bado bado bo, ya bele 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 lo, 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 rababo babi, rababo babi, rababo babi. Rababo babe babo babe babo babe rabo bo 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 ya karate rabade ya inta maloba shatala la kabatete la badodo bosa begin to stir your spirit begin to stir your spirit begin to stir your spirit ya bado rabakataya malobo do bo do bo do malobo do bo do bo do bo do bo do do bo mando do bo do bo mando do bo do bo do e pa yo bo ko to bo do e pa yo bra Kato bra ba do bra ba de be de de ende de bo do bra ba de ke de bo ra ba 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 o ta ba sa kato onde de be ya ra ba ba do bro bo se ke de be ya de bo la kata ya ba sa ta ya bra ka so bra ya bra ka so bra yo bre be 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 ye ya bra kato ya bra kato ya bra kato ye be 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 ye be 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 ye be 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 ye be 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 am bre ge de bo am bre ge de bo ah ya ba de ah ya ba do bo do bo de be de ah ya ba de ma ya Babo, 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 babo. Be, 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 be. Ha, be, 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 be. Ya brokoto brodo. Ya brakata kata kata. Ya brakata brakate. Man brokoto, man brokoto brodo. Rebe de brebe 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 I'm prakata kata marabato to borege ebrege 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 de brege de de brobo la ba 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 la kato to bosha la kata ba ya kata la ba kata kata ya la ba kata kata la ba kata kata o prakasa pra la prakaso la prakata brakoso le bede 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 brakata brakasa la ba 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 la brakoso pro doble kete bredo le bebe be ya rakata brakata liha la brakazata la ba 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 ra ba 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 ra ba 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 ra ba 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 ba. La brake de braba. Ra ba 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 soto. La braba zata bara bara. La braka zata bara ba. La braka zata bara bara bara. La ba 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 ba. Ra ba 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 ya braka de bo. Ra ba ba ya braba de bara ba. Ya braka de bara bara ba. Ra ba 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 ya braba de bara bara ba. Ende de bara bara mande de bara bara ba. Embre me de bara mande de bara bara ba. Mendo de bara bara de bara 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 ba. Mendo de bara 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 Rabba <laughs> La breketa la brakata ya la brakata da da baraba I want to pray for a revival in your heart a revival a revival in your heart a revival in your heart la kabakata brakata baraba a revival of the word a revival of the word a revival of your passion for God a revival of passion for God let it begin in your heart makata bala brakata ya let the revival of the word let a revival for God's word. Let a revival for prayer. Let it be burst in our hearts. Let it be burst in our hearts. Let there be a revival in our midst. Let there be revival among God's people. A revival for his word. A revival for prayer. Let people's life of prayer be revived. Let people's life in the word of God be revived. Let it be revived. Let Brakata la brakata beginning with you tonight na palonto brande de boyo brabade kedosa 
Le brasataya, balo baro sopola, le breke sopopola, le brebe sopopola, le brebe sopopola, le be sopopola, la gado baraka sopalata, la barobo sopopola bata, la braka soprakata, la brakata da. Let your hearts be revived. Let your hearts be revived. La kabasa palaka, la braka soba, la braka soba, la braka soba, le papa papa, la braka sedo, le brebe se barakata barabada. Let, uh, let, uh, let the hearts of your people, let the hearts of your people, let their hearts be revived, let their hearts be revived, let their hearts be revived. La bacota baca sola, la bacota basa dola, la bacosa pala sola, la bacosa pasa sola, la cabosa pala sola. Let your hearts be revived, let your hearts be revived. La cabacata bala katana, la bracata bracato, let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it be revived in your heart. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost let it be revived in your heart. Sapala la bakata la bakato la ba 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 Polikete, le breke zapala koto, la brakata la brakos kapra de keto blake, la brakasa palako, la baba bokata, la baba kobata, la bako zapala, la bakoto boka balakato, la brakaza prakato bolikete basa. We want to pray for the fire to be revived again. La mamo mo 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 let your desire for God's word come alive. Let your desire for God's word come alive. Maleba dobrobo dobrobada la brakasoprada la brakoskopra la brakoskopra la brakosopra la brakoskopra la brakoskopra la brakoskopra la brakoskopra la brakoskopra le gede gede brodo le gede broboso le keto basodo la brakoskopra kaska brakato la brakoskoto le breke de brakadika koba akakura akanda haya luru Akabasunde, leke gobase, 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 leke Yebebe ya rako baka solo boya, la babo shopa la katili biya da 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 Le dudos ha 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 in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. We are going to pray again. Here's what the Holy Ghost said to me as, I, as we began to pray. As we're praying that. That's what the meaning of the tongue that I was saying. Yakakobase. Yakakobase. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled. Hmm. Listen. And your agreement with hell shall not stand when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then you shall be thrown down by it. We're going to pray this prayer. <laughs> this was accomplished in Christ, but we are going to enforce it. <laughs> we are going to enforce it in your life. We are going to enforce it as a church. What you are seeing in your life is death. What you are seeing today happening to you, you just thought it was this, it was that. You're looking for a name to call it. It's called death. But death usually comes disguised 
as an excuse or whatever the case may be. But you are thinking you are dealing with this. But the Holy Ghost is telling you tonight what you are actually dealing with is death. We're going to pray right now. Every attack of death against your spiritual life. We're going to pray about every department of your life. Every attack of spiritual death. Every attack of spiritual death. Every attack of spiritual death. I decree that they are cancelled in my life, in my family, in this church. Every attack of spiritual death, they are cancelled. They are cancelled. They are cancelled. They are cancelled. Balakato barakasataya. Belaka brakoskataya. Every attack. Attack. Every covenant with death uh, is dishonored. Every agreement with hell, it shall not stand. Every covenant with death uh, in your spiritual life, uh, death of your spiritual life, uh, such covenants um, are dishonored. Every agreement with hell, it shall not stand. We enforce it in the name of Jesus Christ. We enforce it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every agreement. Uh, Every agreement with hell, it shall not stand against this church. For it is written, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I decree, every agreement with hell, it shall never stand in the name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant with death, they are dishonored. They are dishonored. They are disannulled in the name of Jesus Christ. Shabakataya. Come on. Kebasaya. Ligi bigatobas. Ligi di batobas. Ligi di batobas. Ligi di batobas. Shabakatoba. La ba 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 ba. La ba 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 ba. Kalakatoba basakarakata. La we stand against the church. 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 I come against every attack of spiritual death. As a church, we stand against you and we cut you off. We cut you off. We cut you off. In the life of the people, I cut it off. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. We're going to pray this prayer, right? Now because the reason the Holy Ghost is bringing this word is because some people are signing agreements with death without knowing. I don't know what you have been saying all week, all month, but the Holy Ghost is pronouncing this upon us today as we end this fast. That your agreement with death, listen to me, those subtle agreement that you have with disappointment, rejection, and death, we cancel them tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Yabako bakataya. Every agreement and, and every every subtle agreements that you have and covenants subconsciously signed by your mouth with death, with disappointment, with shame in your thoughts. Through your words tonight, I cut them off in the name of Jesus Christ. I cut them off in the name of Jesus Christ. I cut them off in the name of Jesus Christ. The Holy Ghost said to me, the first three months of this year, very crucial, very crucial, very crucial. Listen to me. I don't know where you are, but I want you to pray. Every covenant, every agreement with death and hell over my health, over my finances, over my family, over my children, over their health, over their finances, over my wife, over my husband, over our finances, over our finances, over our health, over our physical 
somebody every agreement with hell every covenant with death in the name of Jesus they are disannulled they are disannulled they are disannulled they are cut off lekabaka sotobo rakabasataya baluko bokapaya i disagree with death i disagree with death i disagree with death in your life i disagree with death in your life i disagree with hell yakago bakataya lo baba basoko rakatabaso dabaya lagabagato la brakata la brakata every shame that was meant for you they are cut off they are cut off they are cut off i command you recover yourself recover yourself spiritually recover yourself recover yourself in your finances i command your body to recover i command your body to recover let your body recover let your health recover yakabaka telebas ya baba baba sendebo ya baba 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 every attack of death on your physical body i command your body i command your body i command your body to receive the life of god i command the life of god to enter into your body let the life of god enter into your finances let the life of god enter into your spiritual life ela kaba kaba kada basa kada ba every facet of your life i command life i command life i command life 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 ya bakatata ya bakatata ya bakatata ya bakatata ya bakatata la bakataya kabasa le bebebebos le kabakato bakataya le kabakata bakatata life was we manifest life 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 ya bakatala babas every reign of death every reign of death around your household and in your family they are cut off ya ba bakata bakasada every reign of death and aye basata bas i come against that demonic ring of death yakabakata bakoko kalabakataba there is a ring of death being built around somebody but i cut it off i cut it off i cut it off ayabakataya you will not be cut off in the midst of your days yokabakata labos yobrakata balabadobos every relationship that is fashioned from air every relationship fashioned from hell against your life designed to disconnect you from God's purpose for the next 5 9 10 years yalabra katoba kasata lebra kata by force i cut it off ayata la baba kasoto bebeli kapaya la graga sola baba i want to pray i recover myself tonight i recover myself tonight i recover myself tonight ya brakata baba baba i want to declare i shake the bounce off of my neck i shake the bounce off of my neck i shake the bounce off of my neck ya kabakata ya ba la brakata bakata ya brakata every bands on my neck every bands on my feet they are cut off they are cut off la kabakataya la brakaskapa every love captivity in my life i cut them off i cut them off i cut them off ya katababa rabababababababa e palakatababa in any way you have become a prey in any way in any place that you have become a prey of the devil legally and lawfully balakataba it is written even the love of captive shall be delivered and the prey of the terrible shall be set free for i will contend with them that contend with you and i will save your children say at the law therefore i decree and i declare in every place you are being held against god's plan and purpose for your life in 
in a lawful way, I decree and I declare that you are free. You are a child of freedom. You have no covenant with bondage. I decree for freedom, Christ has made you free. I decree freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Say with me, freedom. For freedom, Christ has made me free. Say all through this year, I walk in freedom perpetually in my spiritual life, social life, material life, my finances, my health. Freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we're going to pray. Resurrection. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Oh, today is the 21st day. Kaba, kaba, kotoba. La brakas. Come on, say with me. I have an appointment with resurrection. It is Jesus Christ. Resurrection is Jesus. Resurrection is Jesus. Say it. Resurrection is Jesus. He is the resurrection and the life. I have an appointment with Jesus. I have an appointment with resurrection and life. I decree and declare every area of my life resurrection resurrection every area of my life experiences the resurrection power of the lord jesus in the name of jesus christ I want to pray. Every area of our life as a church, we manifest the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. We manifest the resurrection power of Jesus. We manifest the resurrection power of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's Christ, name we have prayed. Now, the next thing say is the resurrection and life. Hosea 6 verse 2 says, it will raise us up and it says, and we shall live in his sight. So you can be resurrected. Is resurrection and life. Resurrection is different from life. You are resurrected, then you live in his sight. You live in his sight. After you have become what? Resurrected. He raises you up, then you live in his sight. Declare with me, I reign in life. Say, I live in his sight from this day. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I live in his sight. In every area of my life, I live. It means that you blossom. Come on, say, I blossom. In every area of my life. As a church, numerically, financially, spiritually, socially, materially, we blossom. We live in his sight by the life of God. In the name of Jesus. We multiply by the divine life of God in all facets of our life as a church. In all facets of our life. In all facets of our life. In all facets of our life. Of our life. Of our life. We experience supernatural the supernatural increase of God spiritually, numerically, financially, materially, socially. We experience the resurrection power. We manifest it. It is our daily experience. It is our daily experience. Everyone who comes in contact with us experiences life. Experiences life. Experiences life. Experiences the life of God. Pakatala. La bracate badoso foye belibra cosca paratelia. Lift your hands and give him praise right now. Lift your hands and give him praise. Shale bede 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 ya. Hey, yabala corre be yarados. Ye beke dobo robo severe yabarados. Give him praise. Salamatoria la gabus calimantas. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of our Father. I give you the praise and the glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, mighty Holy Spirit. Thank you, mighty Holy Ghost. 
you broke the bounds of sin, delivered me from the power of Satan and translated me to the kingdom of God's dear son. Thank you for the gift of eternal life. Thank you for delivering me from destruction. Thank you, Father, for crowning me with your loving kindness and tender mercies. Thank you for satisfying my mouth with good things. Your word. Thank you for satisfying my mouth with better things. Thank you for food to eat. Thank you for clothes on my back. Thank you for a house to live in. Thank you, Lord. Thank you because my youth is renewed like the eagles. I give you the praise. We give you the glory. We magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yours is the praise. Us is the victory. Satan is defeated. Yours is the praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ, then we have prayed. Say with me, in the name of Jesus Christ, I exercise dominion over the elements. I exercise dominion over the elements. I exercise dominion over the weather, over the wind, over the snow, over the sun, over the moon, over the stars. I rise above the cold. I rise above the cold. I rise above the cold. I rise above the elements in the name of Jesus Christ and I exercise dominion. I decree and I declare that my body is not susceptible to sickness, to weakness, to fever, to the flu. I refuse to be susceptible to the flu in the name of Jesus Christ. I exercise dominion today in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Let's have a say glory, glory, glory to God. All right. Manifesting as God's glory. Two days ago, today is the last day of our three days of glory. Our Bible study series will continue next week, Wednesday, by the grace of God. But let's round this up today. The first thing I said was, in order, <clears throat> I said we had the glory of God. I showed us a few verses to confirm that. First Thessalonians 2, there's several, verses, there's several scriptures to confirm it. And... Um, Glory to God. Now, I showed us from 1 Thessalonians, it says that you are our glory. Paul was writing that letter to, um, to the Thessalonian church. And 2 Thessalonians showed us that as well. It's not 2 Thessalonians, it's... Um, 2 Corinthians 3, 17 to 18 shows us, that, shows us that as well. And what is glory? The Greek word for glory means doxer, which means majesty. It means excellence. It means magnificence. It means beauty. It means honor. It means dignity. I take it again. Magnificence. Majesty. Honor. Beauty. Dignity. Beauty. Beauty. That's what glory means. Dignity. Excellence. Ex somebody say excellence. I am is excellence. When you see me, you see God's re a, a representative of, of God. When you see me, you see his glory. I am proof that he's alive. The Bible says that Jesus was the express image of the, of the God, Ed, of the, of the God, the invisible God. You find this in Colossians, the book of Colossians 1, you read from verse 13 to 19. But here, now, the point I want to show you today, following on from, from what I said the past two days, so, doxa means that we are God's glory. We are God's excellence. We are his beauty. We are his dignity. We are his honor. Stop when you're looking for God. Look at me. And look at the man in Christ Jesus. Stop. Oh, where is God? That's where God is trapped. If I can use that word. Why? 
Because we are his temple. The glory of God is trapped in his temple. He created, oh, <laughs> the Bible says, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. So Corinthians 4 verse 7. We have this treasure. Ha. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. That the excellency, the glory of the power may be of God. Now that's what the scripture says. We, come on, say I'm, a, I'm God's treasure house. Come on, say I am his treasure. I'm his treasure. Glory to God. I'm his excellence. So, so, so he's telling us we are the glory of God. 2 Corinthians 3, verse 17 to 18, established that we, with open face, unveiled faces, beholding as in the glass the glory of God, we are beholding in the glass the glory of God. We are transformed, 2 Corinthians 3, 17 to 18, verse 18 now, from glory to glory. So we go from what? Glory to, come and say, I go from glory to glory. Now, manifesting as God's glory. I said to us, one of the first things that helps you to manifest as God's glory is prayer. A life given to prayer. Prayer uh, must become your lifestyle. Jesus said concerning um, John the Baptist. Look at what it says. I'm going to read it to you now. John 5. Uh, let me see. I'm going to verse 35, but let me use... I want to, mm. okay. Kado bo do bo do do bo do bo do bo do bo sha. Shandele ba ya baba. Saka do bo shikides. Inde lo bo sumbara ba da ba ra ba ri ara ba da da ba us. Now. Actually, look at what it says. I read the scripture yesterday, John 5.35. It was, it was giving a testimony about John. He said, it was a burning and a shining light. Come on, see, I'm a burning and a shining light. You see, the lamps in the olden days, they, they're, you have the lamp with oil. All right? And usually, for the lamps to give out light, they have to burn. Now, Today, look at what it says. It was a burning shine. I said, and you were willing, you were willing for a, a season to rejoice in his light. Ha. They were willing for a season to rejoice in his light. Why? Because light is comforting. Light is comforting. Even insects look for, in, insects, li once you have lights on, you will see places where um, insects always gravitate towards the light. Insects. They always grab because light is comforting. He said, you were, you were willing for a season to rejoice in this light. Now look at this. For you to burn as the light of the world. You are God's light. You are the light of the world. I now, first day I said, the Bible says in Matthew 5, 14 to 16, verse 16 to be exact. He said, let your light so shine. Isaiah 60 says, arise shine so if you do not arise you don't shine to arise is to put this your light switch on we have lights in this place if you do not put the light switch on it's not going to shine the reason this light is shining it's because that because we put the switch on if you do not touch the switch there are bulbs in here that have the potential to give light they are actually light. But until you put on the switch, it doesn't shine. So Jesus is right by saying you are the light of the world. It, that's what he calls us. The light of the world. A city that is set on a hill that cannot be hid. He says you cannot be hid. He says you can Come on, say I cannot be hid. So, so if he says you cannot be it, how come you say you are, you are hidden? You cannot be it. That's what Jesus says. And we have to go with Jesus' testimony. He says you can't be hid. If you are hid, if you find that 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus says, I can't be hid. That's what it says. Matthew 5, 14. Help us put it up. Matthew 5, 14. Look at what it says. He also calls you. I'm not going to the salt part today. I just want to round it up today. You see, a seed that's set on a hill cannot be hid. I can't be hid. Come on, say, I can't be hid. That's what Jesus says. And I have to believe Jesus' testimony because he is truth. He says, I can't be hid. If I appear to be here, it means that I am not putting the light switch on. See, all them lights there. If, question, if you turn these lights off and I ask you, have you got any lights in that room over there? Would you say, do you have no lights? Would you say that? Would you say you have lights or not? If I say, have you got any lights? If they are not on, would you say you have no lights? If, you, if I come, have you, have you got lights in here? You've got lights. The only problem is that we just have to, yeah, we've got lights. You've got lights in here. You just have to, you just need to put it on on the wall. You just need to put the switch on. That's why it just arise, shine. Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine. And Jesus showed us how to shine. Because what we saw Jesus doing was what? He was given to a lifestyle of prayer. When we saw Jesus again, the next thing we saw, I, I showed you yesterday that besides prayer, the other thing is you must have a voracious appetite for the word of God. The Bible said, let the word of Christ, Colossians 3, 16, dwell in you richly in all admonition. Colossians 3, 16. He said, let the word dwell in you richly. What is that? Addiction. That's addiction. If the word dwells in you richly, that's addiction. You, he says, get addicted to God's word. How come you have not read your Bible today? That, you are not addicted. How come we talk about having a voracious appetite for the word of God, and you've done so many things today, but you haven't read God's word? It means you don't desire it. If you are going to shine as light, you've got to have the word of God. You've got to have the word of God. You can't read two verses and say you've read your, the scriptures for the day. You are not full yet. You've got to eat the word of God to the point of addiction. Some of us get, some of us are addicted to Facebook, to YouTube, to WhatsApp, to all kind of stuff on social media. You know that because you've been out on You've been, you've been there for hours and hours. You look at jokes. You look at um, comedy. You, all kinds of stuff. But you have not spent enough time in the word to stir your spirit. That's why we're praying against death. But you see, where spiritual death is concerned, it doesn't start immediately. And that's the third thing I'll be sharing today. Listen, you must have a great desire for God's word. Someone say, ah, but beginning with the first day, somebody said, I don't have really, a, I don't have a desire to pray. I don't have a desire to read the Bible. We're going to answer that question today in a moment of time. Jesus showed us in Luke 4, 16. The Bible says, as his custom was, he went to the house of God, into the temple. What was he doing there? Jesus went to look for the Bible. He went to look for the scriptures, to read it. Look at Luke, Luke 4, 16. Do you see it? He came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. Listen, parents, guardians, understand. Jesus is the son of God. And Jesus is had to be brought up. In spite of the wisdom demonstrated by Jesus, his friend never said, ah, he knows everything. What can we tell this child? No. They brought him up. He was brought up. The Bible says, train up a child in, in the way he should go when he's old, he will not depart from it. The things we are struggling today to take away from children were things they were never introduced to. How come that an electronic gadget can disciple our children today. To be a parent, 
is hard work. If you're not ready to be a parent, don't go into it. Because you'll be held responsible. God's going to judge you for how you raise that child up. Oh, he's been on games all day. They bring them to school. When they go to school, the school gets them engaged. They don't give them that, them games that you're talking about. They, they get them into school and they are introduced to stuff that can develop their brains. How come when they come home, they don't, their brains have not been developed? And so they look at stuff. They are not introduced to the things of God. How are you going to train them up? Look at you. It was brought up in, in Nazareth. And it was brought up to have this culture and this custom. And as his custom was, he went to the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. As his custom was, this was not the first time he was reading the scriptures. Do you know they called him rabbi? Do you know what it means to be a rabbi? Ah, I'm not going to that today. But listen to me. On the Sabbath day, he stood up for to read. He read Isaiah 60. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Now the point I'm making to you is that it was his custom. That was not the only time. And it wasn't just a custom of what he did there, you know, on the Sabbath day only. That's the record we have here. It was his custom. You, if it's customary to him, he was, he was doing it daily. The man Emo was sold. That is the living word. Word became flesh. He is given to God's word like this. Because if you are going to radiate as the glory of God, listen, you must be given to a lifestyle of prayer and the word of God. Why the word of God? Because prayer and God's word are tools for building up. Acts 20, Jude one twenty says, building up yourself on your most holy faith. Acts 20, 32 says, I commend you to God and to the word of his good, which is able to what? Build you up and give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. That's Jude 1, 20 and Acts 20, 32. 1 Corinthians 14, 1 to 6. I think verse 6 says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. He builds himself up. He builds himself up. What does that tell you? It tells you, that's in verse 4. 1 Corinthians 14, 4. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself. But he that prophesied and defied the church. So they are two for building up the word of God and prayer. They are two for building up your spirit. Now, you need those two in order to manifest as the glory of God. The endless expectation of creation is waiting for, for the manifestation of the sons of God. We are the sons of God. Anyone who is in Christ is the son of God. Now, what's the third thing I want to share with us today? I want to share this with you today. That when you, get, when, you, when you got saved, when you got saved, three things were birthed in you. When you got born again, three things were birthed in you. Three things. Number one. And hunger for God. All of a sudden, you are this hunger. A, a brother got born again. He came to church. And when he, when he came to church, um, he came the following day. He said, the church is not on today. He said, why not? He used to be in the world. He came every day. They said, because we don't have services every day. I pray the church comes to that point. He said, he, every day, say, oh, because it was in the world. Why would they? He said, we have a lot of life to give. There's nothing out there in the world. People don't even want to show up. But he says, he says, why, why, what is going? He said, there's a place of life. Watch this. The next thing that is, that is stirred up in you, that is birthing you. What the first thing I talked about? Hunger. Hunger for God. You have an insatiable appetite for God. Look at uh, 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 Psalm 63, verse 1. Psalm 63, verse 1. Psalm 63, 
Psalms 3 verse 1. It says, O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My, my soul thirsted for thee, my flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Mm. You go to Psalms 42. Now, this is talking about the new man in Christ, someone that is a child of God. 42 verse 1, Psalms 42 verse 1 says, As the heart, as the deer, panteth after the water brooks, so panteth my heart after thee, O God. What do you mean, hunger for God? First Peter. Ah. First Peter. 2 verse 2. First Peter 2 verse 2. As newborn babes, as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word of God that you may grow thereby. What does it mean, desire? It says to long for, to pursue with love, to long after. He said, intensely crave. Intensely crave the sincere make of the word. That active word, that look at it says, the sincere make of the word of God. Why? Because in the entire scripture, there's all kinds of stuff in the Bible. In the same Bible, you will find that Solomon uh, married. 300 wives are 700 concubines. So, so, if you are looking for the sincere make of the word of God, you will know that that was not the pattern of God for believers or for children of God. It's not a pattern for us to follow. You see, you crave the sincere make of the word. You don't look for something that would justify something wrong that you're doing. You don't look for an excuse in the word of God. Oh, well, let me... That's called fraud, manipulation. You know, there's a lot of synonyms for that. Don't look for anything to justify something you're doing wrong. You see, you desire the sincere make of God's word. The next thing that is birthed in you is what? Faith toward God. You are faith toward God. Hunger for God. Faith toward God. Oh, you are faith toward God. Kadabayakata. You have hunger for God. Faith toward God. What's the other thing that's birth? Love for God. That's why the Bible says all things work together for good to them that love God, to them which are the called according to his purpose. It's not saying that, it's not saying to those who God loves. No. It is true that nothing can separate us from the love that God has for us. But in this context, he was talking about those who love God. Then in 1 Corinthians 2, Verse First Corinthians two verse nine to eleven says, "I have not seen nor hear heard, neither has entered into the heart of man the thing that God has designed for them that love Him, not the one He loves, for them that love Him, but He has revealed it to us by faith." First Corinthians two, First Corinthians two nine to eleven. You see, I had not seen it. You see it for them that love Him. The thing which God has prepared for them that love Him. Now love is shown. Love is demonstrated. For God demonstrated his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. Romans 5, I believe, verse 8. While we were criminals, Christ died for the ungodly. Now, what this now? Love for God, faith toward God, hunger for God. Love for God, faith toward God, hunger for God. I talked about prayer. I talked about desire for the word. I, talk, I, I talked about having a voracious appetite for the word of God. Now, here is the roundup. Everything I've talked about, you're going to manifest the glory of God you, because you are God's glory. Everything I've talked about depends on what I'm sharing today. All of them are dependent on your hunger. That's it. Hunger. If there's something I am blessed with, if there's something that I have that I pray 
for it to increase every day. I, I, listen, I don't know about you, but for me, it's a daily prayer. It's a daily prayer. Ha! Oh, not the ability to heal. It's here. Not the ability for, oh, you know, to be, no. Hunger. Hunger for God. Hunger for God. Listen to me, child of God. All the excuses that we give today for why we can't do this, for why we can't do that, for why that is too far. Well, uh, Jeroboam corrupted the children of Israel. He said it is too much for you to go to, to Jerusalem. It is too much for you to go to church. It is too far away. Oh, well, it's too much distance. Why would you have to go all the way there? But you, you, you couldn't go to church, but you can go to the GP's appointment. You couldn't go to church, but you can go to your dental appointments. You couldn't go to church, but you, you, you can meet the estate agents. You couldn't go to church, but you can meet the lawyers. You couldn't go to church, but you can meet your friends. You couldn't go to church, but you can meet with your partners. You couldn't go to church, but you can meet with your business partners. You couldn't go to church, but you have time for everything else. Well, I can't go to church, but, but, but I can go to work. Uh, I, I, I just, it just gets too cold, you know, you know, uh, because, you, uh, but everything else is not affected. See, all those things that I've just shared with you, the problem is not anything else. The problem is your hunger for God. Oh, well, you know, I'm so busy. I've been doing so much. Oh, there's so much to do. Child of God is your hunger. When you are hungry for God, everything else will be swallowed by that hunger for God. Listen, he wrote them a letter in Revelation 2. He said, he said, you, you have lost your first love. He said, I can testify. He said, you can stand false. <laughs> you can stand on righteousness. It is true that you can't stand on righteousness. You cannot stand fraud. You can't stand anything on righteous. No, you won't stand for it. You can identify that's a false apostle. That's a false brethren. That's a false prophet. No, that the mm, I can perceive, but you have lost your first love. Listen, it is hunger for God that sponsors prayer. It is hunger for God that sponsors a desire, a voracious appetite for God's word. If there is no hunger, child of God, you will not pray. If there is no hunger, you will not get in God's word. There's no hunger in your heart. Listen, the problem, God is not, God doesn't care. The, listen. There's nothing God can give you. But the problem is hunger. Hunger is the problem. God can't find hunger in you, child of God. Oh, he's wondering. Oh, you are praying. In fact, some people are praying. They, they have a prayer life, but there's no hunger. There's no hunger in it. There's no hunger for God in it. So you can pray. You can pray and pray. It's an hour you're praying for. It doesn't matter. You can pray for six hours, but you pray for six hours. It's a drag. It's a drag. You know what it is? Hunger for God. Hunger is the problem. You don't have hunger for God. That's what it is. That hunger is waned so much. It's not that the church is far. It's not that you can't afford this, afford that, or this. Or, uh, no, it's the hunger. The first thing, when you begin to see, we, I talked about some stuff a few years ago, and there was a doctor friend that was here. I said, so tell me this. What do you do to somebody that doesn't want to eat? or He, he just has no appetite for food. No appetite. Because somebody is asking today, 
that's actually me. I, I, I know prayer, but it's just that. I, 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 listen, I'm, I'm struggling with this prayer. He says they have to get food into them some other kind of way. In transvenous fluids, they have to plug them up with tubes. They have to get food into them some other kind of way. That's why I always say, if you find that you are struggling, two things you can do. Force feed. If you still are struggling, I want to force feed, but, but get the messages on. Put the tapes on. Go on Facebook. Go on our platforms. Listen to the word. Put them on play. Put the playlist on. I'm telling you how to get your desire back. I'm telling you how to get your fire back. I'm listen to me. When you want to keep the fire on the altar, you add more wood. Leviticus 6. You add more wood. You add more wood. You put in word, 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 word. When the fire is going out, you put more word. Put in the word. Listen, when you start listening to the messages, first 15 minutes is going to be a drag. You're going to struggle. Forget about it. Just let it keep playing. Stay there. Let it listen to me. I said to you two days ago, prayer is for your survival. It's a prayer without season. Listen, to live, you must keep yourself in prayer. To live spiritually. Everything in your life is sustained by your spiritual life. Oh, a man's spirit will sustain his infirmity. A man's spirit sustains his infirmity. A man's spirit sustains his infirmity. His infirmity is his sickness, his weakness. Oh, listen to me, child of God. Get your thirst back. Get your fire back. Oh, it's not about the excuses. It's not about what's not available. Listen, I remember someone told me this many years ago. I was, I was uh, it was something she was saying to me. And I said, but that thing there, and, and she said, she said, brother, he said, where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, I, I, then I, I, I started to reason about, he said, where there is a will, there is a way. Where there's a will, there is a way. Where there is a will, there is a way. Child of God, get your hunger back. Oh, get your hunger back. Get it back. Get it back. You want to get back your hunger for prayer? Every morning, get up. Whether you like it or not. Well, uh, well you, you, you used to get up for prayer before. You used to get up for prayer. I'm telling you how to get it back. Because it said in Revelation 2, verse 5, he says, do the first works. What are you talking about? The first works of love. You used to get up at 6 a.m. or 5, whatever. Get back up at that same time. Go back on your knees. Get back up and say, I'm going to be up. First day, nothing will happen. Second day, nothing will happen. Third day, nothing will happen. It may not, nothing may happen. The first few days, just keep at it. All of a sudden, it will overwhelm you. Oh! You, that love will come. Yes, I have found it. I have found it. I have found it. Go back in the word of God. Well, I don't know. I've taught a series on how to read God's word. Tonight is not the night for it. As a roundup, listen. Get back in there. Go back. Well, I, uh, read the word. I'm going to read. Don't think you're reading the word. You're reading Psalms 1, Psalms 1, 2, and 3 every day. You have, you're not reading. Psalms 1, 2, and 3 every day. What about the New Testament? What, where is Galatians? Where is Ephesians, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Acts. Thessalonians. First Thessalonians. Colossians. Revelations. Jude. Philemon. Listen to me, child of God. Get back your hunger. Get back your hunger. Get it back. Get it back. Get back in the word. Just keep reading it. Keep yourself to reading it. Get there. You just keep reading. Keep reading. Oh, oh the, f the, the fires will be thrown back into flame. Oh, God's want to fall in love with you again. You want to fall back in love with him again. 
get back in there, brother. Sister, get back in there. You have to get it back. It's too, it's, it, listen to me. It's too expensive for you not to get back your love. Get it back. Say to your neighbor, get it back, brother. Say, sister, get it back. Oh, get it back. Get it back. Listen. You do not need to convince so much a man who's hungry. You don't need to, you don't need to convince them to eat. You say, well, 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 what, what other ways to get it back? Go to the house of God. Don't stay online. Go there. Look at it now. You've got used to coming late. It has become normal for you to miss prayer time. It has become normal for you to not come for prayer meetings. It has become normal for you to miss on prayer time. You come in late now. Lateness is a sign. When you begin to see consistently that you're late, you, you intentionally miss those moments of prayer. You intentionally, you plan to miss it. When you plan to miss it like that, what is happening to you is no longer natural. That's an attack of Satan. You can be saying to yourself, but I am doing well. No. No, that's how it starts. Well, somebody has to say it. That's what I'm saying. I'm a, I'm a watchman for reason. And I'm saying to you, when you start missing out on important times of prayer, you miss out on fellowship with other believers. You're not there. You're not present. And it becomes consistent. Listen to me, child of God. You have to break that pattern. Listen. The, how does it come? John 10, 10. They are called a thief for a reason. Thieves, not armed robbers. Thieves are called thieves for a reason. They take it without you knowing. Right under your nose. Stealth motion. It comes in and picks it. While the window was open, they used a stick to drag it out. Oh, where is it? And guess what? Usually things that are stolen from your life, they are not noticeable. You don't see it. It's been three months. I, I used to have something. I used to have this thing. He stole it. What does the Bible say? The thief cometh not, but for to steal, kill, and destroy. Watch this. How does it steal? The reference there, even though he's referring to the devil, but who does the devil use? He uses men in the pews like me. Certain people have told you and justified your position and said, no, if it's too far, you don't have to go. Or if you're feeling a bit, you know, uh, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you have broken down or you need. No, no, no. I'm not talking of that. I'm talking of people who, are, where it has become comfortable for you to say, you know what? Today, I'm just gonna stay at home. I'm just gonna be online today. Listen, that service was designed for people who have not yet known the purpose for church. The moment you dis know the purpose for church, it's not for you. It's not for you, for the children of God. It's for people who we are looking to reach. Once we reach them, they have to come in the house of God. Otherwise, we have missed the point of what that thing is for. Listen to me, child of God. I'm saying to you tonight, pressing. The kingdom of God suffers violence and what? And the violent takes it by what? By force. What does the word mean? They are pressing in by force. If you find that you have become complacent in prayer, press. If you discover that you have become complacent in the word of God, what do you do? Press. If you discover that when it comes to going to the house of God, you have become complacent. Press. If you need to press. Paul says, look at what Paul said. Philippians 3 verse 10. Philippians 3 10. Look at it. Ha. Hey. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings be made conformable unto his death. Next verse. Look at what this. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. You want that experience. Verse, verse, next verse. Not as though I had already attained. Either we're already perfect, but I follow after Eve that I may apprehend that for which 
also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Look at verse 13. Nakapataya. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing ah, yeah, 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 I do. Forgetting those things which are behind, where well, I don't care about what we've achieved. I don't care about what God has used us for in the past. He says, he say, no, I'm reaching forth unto those things which are before. Verse 14 now. Look at what he says. Oh, I press toward the mark. I press toward the mark for the price of the eye calling of God in Christ Jesus. I press. I press. I press. Lord, tonight I receive the grace to press. I receive the grace to press in prayer. The grace to press in the word. The grace to press in fellowship. The grace. The hunger. I receive fresh hunger for God. Fresh hunger for God. Fresh love for God. Fresh love for prayer. Fresh love for fellowship with God. Fresh love for fellowship with the word of God. Fresh love for fellowship with other believers. I receive fresh love. I receive fresh hunger. I break every yoke. Every yoke. Every yoke. Oh, palata balakataya. Every yoke sitting on my hunger. Sitting on my desire. Eh, palakatabana. Everything that is staring up unbelief in my heart. Be consumed by fire. Be consumed my fire, leko basakataya, leko basakataya, la ba 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 ba. On the third day, you will raise us up, and we will walk in your sight, and we'll live in your sight. Lebe de be de be de be de dos, lebe de be de be de be de be de dos. La be koto be re ke se pe de, bale ke be de 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 bo, bale ke be de 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 bo. Ra bo 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 bo. In the belay, Lord, raise, raise a generation, raise a generation of godly men and godly women through us as a church, through me as your son, as your servant, through me as your child. Raise, raise a generation of hungry people for God through us. Men that cannot be defiled. Men that will never lose. Men that will never walk away from their first love. In the name of Jesus. Men that will never walk on eggshells to tell the truth. Men that will be bold and courageous. Men that will be bold and courageous. Lebedos. Wherever you are today, if you have not known Jesus Christ as Lord of your life, uh, let me pray this prayer right now for you. You say this prayer with me. Say with me. Say, oh Lord God, I come to you tonight. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I confess with my mouth. I believe God I raised him from the dead and I confess with my mouth. Jesus is Lord of my life. I receive the gift of eternal a life. I declare I am born again. In Jesus Christ's name, we have prayed. I pray for you today, if you said that prayer, that a fresh hunger is stirred up in your heart today. And if you need to be restored to the Lord tonight, you've, you've walked away. I pray for restoration for you. Say this prayer wherever you are. If you need to be restored, say, Lord, I come back home tonight. Re re revive my heart. Revive my heart. Heal my heart. Oh, heal my heart. Heal my heart. Remove the love for the word. Love for lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and pride that I remove from my heart tonight. Revive my heart. I confess that Jesus is Lord in my heart. In Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You want to give tonight? Thank you for the privilege to give, Lord. We give you thanks. We give you the praise and the glory. You are worthy to be praised. We declare that you are God. There's none else. You are no, none else but you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for these three days of glory. We round up our 21 days fast tonight. Thank you for the privilege to have been able to fast this 21 days. Thank you because we'll never remain the same again in our lives. If you are giving online, there's a link where you can do your giving right now. He has blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. 
I speak the blessing of God over your finances. I speak increase and multiplication in your finances. New opportunities. I speak it over your finances tonight. Thank you, Father. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. This is the child of God. Get your hunger back. Let nothing stop your hunger for God. Let there be nothing God does in your life that will make you lose your hunger. Oh, God has blessed, God has done these and great things in your life. And then it becomes an excuse to lose your hunger. Don't be that kind of person. Be a different kind of believer that nothing can tamper your hunger. Grace is multiplied unto you tonight. Your hunger is back. Come on, say, my hunger is back. Say, I have an insatiable appetite for God. Say, I am hungry for God. I am hungry for God. Say, I have all of God. And I want him to have all of me. Beginning tonight. In the name of Jesus. We see you on the video on Friday. 9 p.m. beginning. We'll see you there. Remain blessed. Bye.